Hey guys, this is Captain here from Ben and Apple TV. We are here at Geek Out at Staten Island. Yeah, the, the Forgotten Borough. I know, someone's about to make a joke. It took us forever to get here. We passed by Beowulf and everything. But however, when I arrived, I did leave out a bowl of milk and sugar to catch this beautiful purple fairy. <laughs> um, Naja, please tell us more about um, how this event came together, how long you've been doing this. Sure. So, real quick, even though we are the Forgotten Barrow, I always say that we are going to be unforgettable. So, it's going to toss that out there real quick. Um, but outside of that, this is actually our fourth year running the convention. It started in 2019. I always say it started with a dream because I was like, wow, that'd be cool um, as an idea. Um, but we started in 2019. It's actually underneath another nonprofit called Muslim Sisters of Staten Island. I'm at that I'm the arts and culture director for. Um, the first year was a bit of a challenge because I had dislocated my shoulder that same year. So I was running the convention with a semi-heeled shoulder, <laughs> which was not fun, but doable. <laughs> but this year I have a team of people that are really great and supportive. The entire backstory started off like your classic superhero. It was just like, yeah, so I was injured, broke my back and all, but guys were still running strong. That is amazing. Um, I think that's super phenomenal. And I, I do want to know, like, what is the most major thing that you've ever geeked out the most that, like, really motivated you to put all this together? Uh, the biggest thing for me is the lack of representation was like, mm. So we're gonna fix this. Um, just being like black, being a woman, being Muslim, I didn't really see myself in a lot of these spaces as much as I enjoyed it. I didn't see other people that looked like myself and I was always wondering like, hmm, maybe because those spaces are not inviting or maybe they don't see people like us so they may not feel comfortable to go. So I was like, why not put together an event, especially in my hometown where we don't have a big con. You know, we do have some other, other uh, Cosby contests and we have different things like that. However, like we don't have something at this scale utilizing a cultural center, utilizing something that is strictly Staten Island to promote something like this. You guys have a lot going on across the water. I'm sorry, we usually just wave at you guys like... Uh -huh. you <laughs> wave and you're like, wow, that's a pretty part of Jersey. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> I hear the bashing. I hear the smack. Talk. <laughs> it's just, it's so far sometimes, but I do appreciate, like, what you've done. Like, this place is absolutely amazing, and it is important, though, to see, like, representation, because it's, like, you get excited, you love your characters, like, I'm here as Harley Quinn, um, and you want to see someone who's like, oh, they look like me, they have the same background as me. Um, I think one of the things that I get frustrated about is whenever I see that they change the character's uh, ethnicity for no reason, yeah. and it doesn't change the character instead of understanding that there's culture, there's context that's mm -hmm. going to change the way how the, the hero or anti-hero or villain yeah. thinks just because they have a different background or a different oh, yeah. ethnicity or a different religion. And it, it, changes, it changes their perspective on things. It changes how they even move about life. It changes maybe some of the challenges that might have started like their villain tree, right? <laughs> you know, a lot of villains have been bullied, right? Right? for different reasons, right? Exactly. However, certain things I say for myself, it could be because I'm black, it could be because I'm Muslim, and everyone's like, you're a terrorist, and I was like, do I look like one? Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, there are different things that can come about, and I truly do believe exactly what you're saying. Like, changing it just because doesn't make sense, especially because there are starting to be either more characters that have those same backgrounds, but they're their own person, they're their yes. own character, or if they have, or they're already created. Like, they're already there, we just have to find them and utilize them. Yeah, and it's it's um it's I'm so glad to see like more and more of it. Um, there's um guys I they're, well they're not here. We see them at other conventions, but they have this Zendan, um, and they're uh, they have an amazing an amazing book. I'll definitely send it over to you so you can take a look. Um, and I I I love seeing all of that. And it's 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 sad like whenever you realize that because of that lack of representation, people don't. Uh, who don't come across someone who looks like someone else that's different from themselves, they don't know how to like process them. Yeah. And it's 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 very, very sad and it's, it's so limiting. Open up your eyes, man. Um, but for those who are like, they're willing to cross the boat, <laughs> how can they come find you and what else can we expect to find of you in the future? Sure, so anyone who wants to come here, we have it every year around this time, the second weekend of August. So catch us here around the same time next year. You can also catch us on every social media platform that you can think of, except for maybe outside of the country. Um, so that would be at GoASICon or G-O-A-S-I underscore con or geek out at Staten Island. And we are in Staten Island. I know this sounds crazy. Like I gotta take a train, I gotta take a ferry, I gotta take a boat. But guess what, to get to y'all, we gotta do the same thing. So <laughs> reciprocity. 
<laughs> but to be fair, the travel is absolutely worth it. Um, I'm loving all this. The weather has been great. You have been absolutely wonderful. And I love yeah. all of these. I'm loving every second of it. I'm looking forward to the costume contest. That's what I, yeah, I want to say. It's going to be starting at 6 p.m. So get yourselves ready over there. Please check out all the wonderful vendors. They're going to be here until about 7 o'clock. So please check them out before they skip day at all. Um, but in the great, great part, speaking of the vendors, is that we have people from all five boroughs and New Jersey here. Oh, so they're welcoming to the other boroughs. So we have the Bronx, okay? The we have Bronx. Bronx, okay? We have Queens, we have Manhattan, we have Brooklyn, we have people from Staten Island, we have New Jersey, okay? We have the great Jersey accent. <laughs> You know, we have different people at our Earth in the Arrow. Even some of one of our actual cosplay guests and one of our cosplay judges, she's only from Connecticut. Oh, wow. So if someone can come three and a half hours from Connecticut, just saying, just saying. She's not throwing shade, she's just making a point. <laughs> I can't throw shade. All the trees are already here. I can't do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I know you got to run around. You got so much to take care of, and I truly appreciate you. I appreciate you and Sebastian like taking the time, like and inviting us out here because this has been absolutely wonderful. Um, um, so like we're constantly looking for new conventions, and we don't always get the chance to like find out what's happening. And I'm not gonna lie, because Staten Island's a little bit out of the way. We're like, oh, and he's like, no, come here. We're, we're telling, you. come, and we're like, all right, and you're like. Okay. Trust me, we'll be back next year. We'll be back next year. <laughs> yeah, you're always welcome to come. The main thing that I always say to everyone that comes to the convention is for you to enjoy yourself because the our literal tagline is to celebrate creativity and diversity in geek culture because because that is within geek culture. So come here, be yourself, check out different people, explore whatever like you know ideas or, or quirks or habits, whatever the case may be. Come here and do that. And just frolic in the fields. We're literally in a meadow. It's called South Meadow. <laughs> yes, we actually are in the middle of the fields and we're going to be frolicking in a second. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.